You are on New Japan Strong, though, all the time. And recently, Bobby Fish attacked you. And I want to see this one-on-one -on -one match. I love me some Bobby Fish. I love me some Homicide. When, yeah. is, when is this big matchup going to occur? Well, we're doing a six-man tag team this Sunday at um, yeah, Nemesis. Los Angeles, California. Yeah, Nemesis, uh, December be, 11th. Yes, be myself, Eddie Kingston, and uh, Finley, David Finley. I guess uh, Bobby Fish, Tom Lawler, and Danny Limelight. Yeah. So it's going to be a fight. It's not going to be a wrestling match, you know, like – so many people in that ring, so much history. You know, I know Bobby Fish for a very long time. I know what he does. Same thing with Tom Lawler. I know what he does. Daniel, Daniel Limelight, to me, is a former LAX member because back in the day, he was part of the MLW 5150. But to me, that is LAX. He was the, the last ones no. of LAX. So that's history. Then, of course, we got Eddie Kids, me, Eddie Kids got history, you know, but good or bad. It doesn't matter. Be close friends. And we got Philly. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but his father is one of my idols. Like, when I wrestle, I'm going to wrestle like Philly. And I think it's, it'd be an honor. David Philly is going to be part of the team right now. So it's going to be a fight this Sunday. Yeah, Nemesis. I can't wait for this. December 11th. This weekend has so much action, too. So there's a lot going on. If, you wanna, uh, if you're a wrestling fan, there is uh, wrestling in the afternoon, at night, in the afternoon, at night, all weekend long. So it's pretty exciting, though. Yeah, New Japan Strong is something completely different because I feel like for so long it was, you know, again, I would bring up WWE. And then it was like New Japan. And then Impact popped up. And then, you know, Ring of Honor made a big splash. So, like, with New Japan Strong now, it feels like this is like, the trying to Americanize New Japan a little bit more because yeah. of the previous regime. It was like I had to have be, watch you at one in the morning, uh, four in the morning to watch Wrestle Kingdom or something like this, which I will be up at one in the morning, four in the morning to watch Wrestle Kingdom. But yet yeah. it feels like New Japan Strong is like this new, let's grab American audiences. Is that how you feel? That's the way I feel. Like at first I was joking around, like why do I feel like this is like NXT and New Japan's WWE? But we got so many professionals that strong, so it cannot be. I said NXT is the money league because there's a lot of talent in NXT. Yeah. But I really feel like we are at the college level of New Japan. But yeah, you're right. I feel like this is like a new chapter. They try to bring the American audience for New Japan. I love the new logo when it comes to the lion with the American flag. So I think uh, New Japan is introducing the American fans. This is our style. We're bringing a new style to America, and it's coming good. Of course, um, we got new bosses, the new staff, and they all they all great. You know, a uh, great staff. Of course, we got Bullet Club coming to America. Mm -hmm. We got uh, also like Naido coming. Or Daka came in. Then we got featuring people like myself, Red, Eddie Keys, then we got a couple of guys from all the wrestling come and do a guest. So it's kind of cool, man. It's cool. When you're a wrestling fan, I think they will like it to see this because you're right. It is the American version of New Japan. And it's the same style like New Japan. Right. And I more feel entertainment. Yes, a little a little splash of that uh sponsor entertainment. Because again, like I, for so long with New Japan. It's like, even when I go back, say, like 20, 30 years ago, I had to tape trade to get New Japan, you know, Japan wrestling, not just New Japan, oh. all any international wrestling that was not on US TV. The only way I could watch it was to tape trade. Oh, you want SummerSlam 92? Well, I will send you this for, you know, uh, yep. Jushin Thunder Liger or, or, you know, stuff like that. I and, did the same thing. <laughs> yes, and that's dedication. Now I go to YouTube yeah. and type in, you know, New Japan Strong or New Japan, boom, it's there. There's no waiting. There's no, oh, I can't wait. There is just consume, 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 and then, you know, consume some more. So before, I feel like wrestling fans, you had to be very dedicated if you wanted to watch Japan wrestling. But now New Japan Strong obviously is bringing American audiences a little closer to that uh, company versus before where we had to wait weeks for a tape in the mail. A VHS tape, folks. That's right. A VHS tape, goddammit. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. But. Are you going to be on the Wrestle Kingdom card as well? Because, again, January 4th and 21st, Wrestle Kingdom is kind of like a two-night extravaganza now. Are you going to be involved? 
No, I will not be involved. I'm coming one, but I'm hoping I'm involved with the next one. So that's what part of my goals because I need a closure in my life when it comes to performing wrestling. And I think that'll be a perfect closure at the Wrestle Kingdom. So hopefully I'm crossing my fingers it happens. But right now I'm just going to support the guys who are going to be on this um, the Wrestle Kingdom. But it's going to be a great show. And it's, it's always been a great show. Top notch. So I'm hoping that everything be good and hoping next year Hamasan be in Tokyo. I hope so too. Uh, main event right now, JY Okada, huge matchup for New Japan as well. But I cannot wait to see more episodes of New Japan Strong with you. But again, this weekend, December 11th, Nemesis, three on three match. He said it's not going to be a wrestling match, it's going to be a fight. And I'm pumped. You're pumped. We are all pumped. 